And from KQED News, I'm Natalia Navarro, and it's time for Right Now-ish. This week, host Pandarvis Harshaw talks to filmmaker Maya Cueva about covering immigration and reproductive justice. Her film, Ale Libre, follows an organizer, Ale Pablos, preparing for her deportation case. Your approach to your work, do you see it as an art? Do you see it as a activism? Or do you see it as a, just a documentation of life? I definitely see an intersection of all three of those things um, in the work that I do. In general, I like to approach filmmaking and, and storytelling in a way that turns issues on its head or makes you think twice about someone that I might be filming, you know. For Ale specifically, what's really interesting is that, you know, she is a reproductive rights organizer and an immigrant rights organizer. But she also, when she was 25, got a DUI. I am a criminalized person. I'm a community organizer. I am a community member facing deportation and have been fighting my deportation case for the last eight years. We've all made mistakes, but has it landed us two years in jail or two years in prison or two years in a detention center? For many of us, no. Contextualizing a person and putting them in their full light is something that you do in the film about your father as well. There's a scene where he says a word, he's, he's describing his beard, and the illustration makes for a, a beer grow out of his beard because of his accent. I was actually going through a change myself because I grew out of beard, long hair, beard. I um, and I love it, though. You know, like it's, it's a fun moment in the midst of a story that's um, pretty heavy. My question to you is, what was your approach in telling the nuanced story of your father? So I love that that um, scene stuck out to you because I feel like that scene of the beer beard like really is a good representation of just like who my dad is. (laughs) What really brought me to tell the story of my father was, you know, these were stories that I was raised with my whole life. My father is from Peru. He grew up in Ayabaca, which is the Andes. Um, in northern Peru, so very close to Ecuador. He was a pioneer in, in Silicon Valley as, a, as a, like one of the few uh, Latinos in tech at the time. This was like the 90s, early 2000s, and he had to deal with a lot of discrimination. And in fact, the first time I started in California working for a startup, another engineer sent me to open some boxes. And I told him that, you know, why does he do it? Is he busy or what? And what had happened is he confused me with a maintenance guy. All right, so with your father and even the other stories that you've grown to know, how do you walk that fine line of you're the storyteller, so you're the power holder, if you will, Um, and at the same time, is your attempts to empower this person and let them tell their story? And, like, how do you balance those two things of, like, I know what story needs to be told versus, like, I need to let them tell their story? I think it's really hard as filmmakers to think that we can be objective (laughs) completely. The balance is, you know, making sure that when I do approach the subject, I'm initially asking them, you know, what are stories you feel like aren't being shared? Or how do you feel like you're being misrepresented? Because I cannot speak for you. I can get a camera and I can interview you and ask you certain questions but ultimately like your voice is the one that needs to come through and shine through. That was Maya Cueva talking to Right Now-ish host Pendarvis Harsha. I'm Natalia Navarro, KQED News.